Hello, it's uh, Paleo Hey Duke again, and uh, I'm here with a tutorial on how to control and set up uh, a mech robot like this. First thing we're going to do is go over the controls. Uh, I've tried to set this thing up as simply as possible so that uh, people can, you know, get it running in, you know, just just a couple minutes of watching like a video like this. Uh, there's five main buttons for movement. The first button, number one, controls the uh, walking routine. Uh, when you press it, you start to walk. Number two, changes you in the reverse. Number three and four control your direction. So if I press number three here, we'll start going to the left. If I press three again, we'll start going straight again. To go to the right, you press number four. To stop the mech, you press number five. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, as I was saying before, uh, the way this thing turns is that whenever you want to turn, let's say we're going to turn uh, right here, you'll notice that the left foot turns off. That allows the mech to slide a little bit and it will turn in the, uh, in the direction away from it. Uh, when I was first trying to uh, to figure out a way to turn these mechs, the uh, first thing I was trying to work on was figuring how to shorten the stride. And uh, I'm only using timers here; I'm not using a programming block. So I was sort of stuck with the ro the two settings of the rotors, unless I wanted to get all crazy with timer blocks. Um, while I was working on that, uh, I was trying to figure out how to not because at first I had the legs to where they would lock on whenever they they landed and uh, you know sometimes that wasn't perfect sometimes the foot would come down and it would bounce a little bit and it would miss that little moment when it would go to lock uh, to fix that I set it up to where it would engage the auto lock when it was coming down and then when you were lifting it again it would uh, turn it off um, I actually screwed up while I was setting up some timer blocks once and uh, one of the feet uh, was was turned off completely and uh, I noticed it started to turn, and from there, that's uh, how I developed my method of turning. Uh, one of the other features on this mech is uh, auto follow. Um, whenever you move seven meters away from this mech, it will begin to follow your character or any other uh, players in the vicinity see here as I move around it'll continue to turn towards me and then walk once it gets back within seven meters it will stop Obstacles get in the way, it will usually run into them. Uh, I can usually get back up onto its feet after a second here. Yeah, there you go. And uh, once you get it to where you want to park, just walk up here, it'll stop stop walking and press this button. Now when you walk away, it will stay there. 